Hey everyone, I'm Brian and this is Video Zeus. Now like you, I watch a lot of YouTube and one of the channels I watch on YouTube a lot is 5 Minute Crafts. And if you're not familiar with the channel 5 Minute Crafts, they make a collection of videos that may or may not improve your life. Now they classify them as crafts, but they are also considered hacks. So I decided that it would be fun to try out some of these 5 Minute Crafts. And the ones I'm going to try out have to do with making movies and making videos. And so since I shoot and edit videos for a living, I figured there's no better person to do this than myself to help debunk some of these hacks to see which ones would actually help you or just waste your time. Now all the hacks I'm trying today are from the video titled 30 Film Hacks to Make an Oscar Worthy Movie. So if you want to check that video out in full, I'll place a link to it down below. Now let's get crafty. All right, she's cutting this green board, maybe to diffuse the light. You know, every time I see a box cutter, I just, I'm not good with tools. And I, I guess box cutter is a tool and <laughs> looking like she puts it on the light. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. It's pretty stylized. Um, looks cool. Would produce a cool effect. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this now. I can operate cameras and I can operate computers, but when it comes to tools or knives, I know that might not be the manliest man thing to say, but I'm just not a tool and a knife guy. I mean, might as well give it a try. I got my board and so I don't screw up my nice table here. I'm going to put a piece of cardboard down the blade. I'll try not to hurt myself. All right, let's start here. Oh boy. Okay, you can see on the video, it was like very symmetrically cut. This is not gonna be that, but we're gonna, we're gonna try our best. My lines keep getting more curved and curved as we go. I mean, I can definitely see this being useful uh, the like I said, the effect was actually pretty cool. You know, it's like a, it's like more of like a one-time thing. Like you create this thing once, and maybe it's something that you're able to like reuse. Oh yeah, that looks cool. It looks pretty uh, similar. Not as uh, sturdy, I'd say, as the other example. It actually, looks pretty good. Let's pop this thing on a light and see how well it looks. Now to test these hacks in the real world, I have asked my wife Christy to come in and partake because after all, she is the voice of reason. So now when we take this into a real world situation, you can see it's very flimsy and I'm just not happy with the way it looked, but the idea itself is good and could be executed properly, perhaps if I tried again. And that's the look right there, the look of disapproval. All right, next up, all right, we got a plastic container. Looks like it's a sticky tape thing. All right, putting some aluminum foil in. Looks like some sort of maybe light um, bounce mechanism. All right, yep. Ah, oh, clip on light, okay. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, uh, I don't, uh, that's weird. That's a pretty cool effect. Yeah, you could do it, but uh, what the heck would you use it for? Let's try it. We got our box, we've got aluminum foil, we've got a light, and uh, I got some sticky strips. I think these are the right kind. Is it the only ones I could find in the store? All right, so first things first, put down the, uh, the old thing here. We're gonna open up these sticky strips. They're meant to be hung up on walls. We're gonna use it to mount aluminum foil to a plastic box. Let's see if we can make it work. Pop that bad boy right there. Ah, yeah. All right, now it's time for the aluminum foil. Oh, shit. Wow, that, that entire roll just, it just rolled out. Definitely not going back in that box. Uh, I think I need a bigger piece, damn it. All right, well, we're gonna make it work. I guess that's 
I guess that's it. Now, open this bad boy up. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That looks like the example. Before, after, and uh, let's go give this a shot and see what it looks like. Now this one right here I think has potential. If you had a specific situation, you could actually use this kind of lighting effect on your video shot. I think it could actually be pretty cool. <laughs> but overall, I just felt super silly doing this and my wife would have to agree. This is getting silly now. Let's see what this next one is. Oh, a pizza slicer. Interesting. Oh no, don't, no, this, this isn't how you do a trucking shot. I mean, it's practical. Oh, you can even tell that that's not even the shot they showed at the end. Five minute crafts or five minute hacks. Hacks is in like, not freaking real. I mean, I guess if you're desperate and you really want that camera move, we're gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. This one looks pretty simple, looks pretty quick. Again, completely redundant and stupid, but uh, you know, if you really want to achieve this cool looking shot, then I guess this is what you're gonna have to work with if you don't have money to go out and do it the right way. I got my trusty iPhone 6, I think. I just, you just never throw these things away. One standard issue pizza slicer. I've got a sticky. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. All right, it's on there. Wow. That looks so ghetto. <laughs> it actually works. It's ridiculous. Let's give it a shot. Now, taking this pizza cutter slider dolly thing into the real world, you can see that it's very wobbly, it's very bumpy. But overall, Chrissy and I would not recommend trying to use this thing to achieve a cinematic shot. All right, let's see what we have next. <laughs> All right, picture frame, duct tape. Oh, no. Really? I mean, it's pretty crafty, but gosh, do people even use clapboards anymore? Wow, it looks pretty detailed. I'm not sure if I can actually get that detailed on the paint. But nonetheless, it's cool. And whether you might you actually use it on a shoot or just use it for something cool in your office, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. We've got our picture frames. I've got some paint and some duct tape. Let's see what we can do. So it looks like one of these is going to just get completely deconstructed. Let's just see if we can just, it's kind of, it looks like it's stapled. I'm gonna just have to break it like that. Ah. Let's see if we can make this one a little smoother of a break. Oh yeah. So something like this in a way. Oops. <laughs> it just it just looks silly. I mean, we're using duct tape on a clapboard. I mean, oh man. It just feels so wobbly. Wobbly wobbly. I guess aesthetically it's working, or it looks like it's gonna work. Let's dress it up a little bit. Now this is an actual clapboard. This is what it actually should look like. I'm gonna use that as reference for how the white looks. Oh man, gosh, that looks awful. First try. To think though that someone had to think about this as an idea. All right, now that the paint is dried, let's, uh finished this bad boy up. So now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna take out this back mat and we got our printout. This is something I just found online and printed out. So definitely try and do it yourself if you want. And of course it doesn't fit. Let me uh, let me go get the scissors. Where are the scissors at? There, brute force. Put the tabs down, roll one, scene one. All right, this is the moment of truth. Oh, check. A little ghetto looking, but uh, you know, if you're desperate enough for a clapboard, this, this will work. Now this clapboard, like I said, serves a purpose. It looks okay, but taking this into a real world environment, like a client shoot, as you can see, Christy does not approve. 
All right, looks like this next one has to do with some harsh lighting. Let's see what they do. A shower curtain. Interesting. I don't think I've ever thought of that one. I think I have a shower curtain laying around here somewhere. Let's give it a shot. Now, this next hack pertains to if you have a really bright window like you see on the screen right there. To combat this, we are going to be using this standard issue white shower curtain. And so I have Christy on our green screen. And as you can see, there's a very bright light hitting her on the side of the face. But when I hang this shower curtain just with my hands, you can instantly see how it softens that light. So overall, we give this one two thumbs up and a smile. All right, here we go. Next one up. Coffee cup. Okay. Cutting it. All right. No. Really? A tripod? Coffee cup tripod? <laughs> this is so ghetto. Wow. I mean, it's pretty creative. I think we can do that one. <laughs> If you're in a desperate need of a tripod, then um, maybe these coffee cups will. I'm trying not to cut my finger off here. Straight across. Straight across. Just getting these things to line up. It's probably the trickiest part of this whole thing. All right, now we got our hole slit. Aha! All right, looks like maybe I made the hole a little too big for this bad boy, but you know, there we go. There's our makeshift tripod. And if you needed it to go higher, just stack some cups. I'm a fan of stable shots. And so if you do need a tripod, I would definitely recommend trying this as a hack. And as you can see with Chrissy's little foot tap, that's the tap of approval. Now that was just a bunch of nonsense. Let me know in the comments below if you think you'll actually use any of these hacks to make your next video. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you create videos that get results.